you decide to do something no one's dared before. Mix all 118 elements of the periodic table. Not a few, not the safe ones, all of them. Hydrogen to Oganesson poured into one container. Some explode, some glow. Some could literally rip atoms apart, but you, you're curious and maybe a little insane. You clear space in a sealed vault and place one giant indestructible beaker in the center. No super science lab, no magic force fields, just you and pure chemical chaos. And you're adding them one by one in order. First up, hydrogen, light, simple, innocent. Then oxygen joins and things get spicy. A little spark and boom, you've made water or maybe a small explosion. Next comes lithium, the battery hero, followed by beryllium, deadly and metallic. Boron enters and throws in green fireworks. Carbon joins like a celebrity. I make diamonds, and you. Nitrogen shows up and immediately tries to avoid attention. Then oxygen again, but this time she's wild. Fluorine bursts in like a chainsaw with anger issues. Neon drifts past, glowing like a party invite. And then sodium arrives and stares at water like it wants revenge. You feel the room temperature rise. There's bubbling, fizzing, maybe even a chemical growl. And that was just the first 11 elements. Still think this is a good idea? Because next comes magnesium and the real chaos begins. You stare into the beaker and drop in element 12, magnesium. It just sits there until someone lights a match. So far, so safe. You drop in aluminum, your soda can's secret identity. It barely reacts and starts floating like a lazy submarine. Then silicon enters, all nerdy and important. Now it's starting to look like digital soup. You add phosphorus next, red or white. Doesn't matter, it's both. And white phosphorus loves to ignite on contact. You flinch as smoke curls up and the beaker whistles. Sulfur follows, and boom, instant rotten egg vibes. <laughs> it spreads a cartoon stink cloud that makes you gag. Chlorine shows up looking clean and super toxic. And sodium, it lunges for chlorine like an action movie finale. Kaboom. The result, ordinary table salt. You just made seasoning from absolute chaos. Argon drifts in next, uninterested and totally chill. Then potassium belly flops into water like a daredevil. Fireball! You dive behind a shield just in time. Calcium strolls in like a peacemaker and accidentally causes chalk to form. Then scandium, yttrium, and titanium quietly show up in the corner. They don't do much, but you feel like they're judging you. The beaker now glows with a weird purple-green swirl. You stare at it like it's a portal to another dimension. And then vanadium, the first element that seems emotionally unstable. You're starting to question everything. Chromium dives in and immediately changes the beaker's colors. It forms shiny metallic compounds like a show-off magician. Then, manganese joins with every oxidation state imaginable. The liquid starts shifting like a technicolor tornado. You reach for a stabilizer, too late. Iron arrives and starts rusting instantly. You try to stop it, but rust just spreads faster. Cobalt enters glowing blue and theatrical. Everything turns cobalt blue like a dramatic movie filter. Nickel shows up and starts crafting tiny batteries inside the chaos. Now it's humming and zapping like a mini electrical grid. Copper floats in and conducts electricity like a champion. Sparks fly across the room. Zinc crashes in and reacts with leftover acids. You barely dodge the fizzing foam blast. Gallium enters and melts before hitting the beaker. You hold the puddle in your hands like, seriously? Germanium drops in, glitching out nearby electronics. Arsenic slinks in, quiet but deadly. You suddenly don't feel so good. Selenium follows, glowing ominous red. The air turns spooky. 
and you swear the lights flicker. Then bromine arrives, already boiling and steaming. It bubbles like a witch's potion and burns your nose. Krypton floats by, glowing green, looking smug. Rubidium belly flops into water and explodes. You dive for cover as tiles crack above you. Strontium flares up red like a firework malfunction. <sighs> Yttrium follows. Why is it shooting lasers? The beaker glops like a malfunctioning light show. Zirconium reflects beams in all directions like a disco ball. He put on lab goggles just to see. Niobium enters with a cape, stabilizing the chaos, slightly. Molybdenum raises the temperature again. You watch steam pour out like a boiling cauldron. Technetium arrives, ticking like a countdown. You scream, why is this one ticking? Ruthenium and rhodium arrive, dripping with elegance, then explode into sparks. Palladium shows up, hoarding hydrogen like it's treasure. Silver floats in, trying to purify the mess with sparkle. Cadmium immediately poisons it again, super toxic glitter style. Indium enters and lets out a cartoon squeak. You press it again. Why does it squeak? Tin tries to help, but spills metallic goo everywhere. Antimony storms in like it owns the place, then starts corroding. Tellurium fills the air with garlic fumes. Iodine turns to purple gas and disappears like a ghost. Xenon blinks the lights and speaks in glowing whispers. And then, cesium. It jumps into water and unleashes total chaos. At this point, you're sweating and glowing a little. Because now, it's Actinium's turn. It jumps in, glowing electric blue like cursed treasure. Then, thorium joins, buzzing like an unstable power core. You feel heat rising and the beaker trembles. Protactinium makes everything vibrate like a broken engine. You try holding the table steady, but it starts pulsing. Uranium arrives and immediately sucks all the attention. Its green glow spreads across the entire lab. You hear Geiger counters clicking faster than your thoughts. Then plutonium enters and the beaker darkens. Everything slows down like the air itself is scared. Americium joins, disguised as a helpful smoke detector, until it starts spitting ionizing particles. Curium arrives with radioactive glitter. Looks cute, isn't. Then it escalates fast, berkelium, californium, and einsteinium all at once. Your screen glitches from the energy burst. Fermium lands and sends a shockwave up your spine. Then mendelevium arrives like royalty, only to melt seconds later. Nobelium enters, trying to look cool, and triggers a chain reaction. Laurentium finishes the party with a bang. Everything glows white. You sprint to the fridge and hide like it's Indiana Jones. <sighs> the blast shakes the room, and then silence. You peek out. Everything's glowing. This isn't chemistry anymore. It's nuclear survival mode. You survived the radioactive apocalypse, barely. But now comes the weirdest chapter the super heavy synthetic elements. These aren't found in nature. They were made by smashing atoms in labs, and they barely want to exist. Element 104 Rutherfordium lasts seconds before vanishing. Dubnium arrives and starts flickering between states like it can't decide who it is. Seaborgium enters, immediately triggering ghost particles. You have no clue what just happened. Borium rings like a bell and echoes across the lab. Hassium follows, trying to hold itself together, but failing. Mitnerium appears, then disappears faster than your Wi-Fi during a storm. Darmstadium creates static in your vision, like your eyes glitched. Ronginium tries to look fancy, but breaks down instantly. Copernicium floats in and bends the lights around it. You see yourself reflected in its surface, and you look terrified. Nihonium sparks, vanishes, reappears like quantum popcorn. Flarovium feels heavy, like gravity is weird around it. Muscovium pulses once, then goes silent. Livermorium lets out a cartoon sigh, then evaporates. Tennessine shows up angry for no reason. It yells, explodes, then vanishes like a bad temper tantrum. And finally, Aganesen, the last element, a mystery even science hasn't solved yet. You drop it in and the universe holds its breath. 
Oganison touches the mixture. Nothing happens for 0.001 seconds. Then everything inside the beaker ignites. You don't see fire, you see data. Chemical symbols explode like fireworks. You're hit with a wave of light, color, noise, and pure chaos. The beaker lifts off the table. It floats, then implodes into itself. And for a second, there's nothing. That silence, nothing. Then the air returns with a sound like the universe rebooting. You're on the floor, surrounded by glowing dust. The lab is gone, but somehow the beaker still floats. Inside it, one single glowing particle. It pulses slowly, like a heartbeat. You lean closer. It's not just a new element. It's something the table never had before. The fusion of all 118 forming the unknown, a theoretical material beyond science fiction. You wonder, did you create life? A new universe? A black hole? Or maybe just a really smart piece of radioactive salt? The particle blinks once, then vanishes. You fall back, laughing. You just survived the most ridiculous science experiment ever. And now you can finally tell your friends. Yeah, I mixed all 118 elements together. If your brain is still intact after this, smash that subscribe button like you smash the periodic table. We've got more madness waiting in future videos. But for now, maybe don't recreate this at home or at least use a lead fridge. Thanks for watching, Brave Chemists. See you in the next meltdown.